Hello friends and welcome to edupediaworld.com, your destination to online education. Friends, as we have learned about the solution suspension, so today I am going to discuss about the one of the kind of mixture we call it colloids. So in this session we will be learning about the concept of the colloids, the characteristics of colloids, the experiment we call it Tyndall effect. We will be also discussing about the differences between the solution suspension and colloids. So before starting with this session I wanted to give you a brief account of the concept of the colloids. So friends let's suppose I'm taking a glass of water, right? And I add a starch powder into it and mix it. Or you can stir it well. What happened is you'll be seeing a milky. water right so the starch appears to dissolve in water forming the starch solution so this is a starch solution now right so what else you see in the starch solution we see that if we keep the the starch solution for a considerable time, then the starch particles do not separate out or settle down at the bottom of the beaker. So what we see is that they don't settle down after a long period or after a considerable time period. Else what we see if we filter the starch solution, then the whole starch solution passes through the filter paper and no residue is left behind. So, no residue left behind. Right? Now what we see is that this means that the particles of starch solution are smaller enough to pass through the filter paper, right? We also cannot see the particles, cannot see the particles of starch solution, starch, right? Do you notice that these three kind of points for these three kind of observation we also see in true solution right so what is this basically the star solution is this a true solution no why because we also see one more point that if we pass a beam of light through a star solution kept in a darkened room, then the star solution scatters the light passing through it and make the path of the light beam visible inside it. This can happen only if the particles present in the star solution are bigger enough to scatter light rays falling on them. So the very fourth point which we don't see in true solution is they scatter light yes in the darkened room and render the path of light right so this kind of solution where we don't they don't settle down that the particles of the solute don't settle down after this considerable time of period they don't form a residue on the filter paper 
that they don't left behind after filtration. Third, they cannot be seen in the naked eyes, that the particles of the star cannot be seen naked eyes. Four, they scatter light in the darkened room or they render the path of light beam passing through it. So this kind of solution is actually called colloids. Basically though the colloid appears to be homogeneous to us but actually they are found of to be the heterogeneous mixtures. Why? Because they are kind of solution because these three which I just told you these three points we also see in this a true solution so they appears to be homogeneous but yes they are heterogeneous mixtures when observed through a high power microscope so the colloids are not a true solutions now if you conclude this we conclude like they are heterogeneous solutions right we can also say they are heterogeneous mixtures they are not true solutions they don't form a residue on a filter paper they cannot be seen by naked eyes they scatter light beam passing through them and render path of light beam when we see these kind of points these kind of observation in any solution any mixture we should know that we are looking at colloids right so let's start with the session now So now we define colloid as a kind of solution in which the size of solute particles is bigger than that of true solution but smaller than that of suspension. We can have examples like starch solution which I have just discussed with you. We can have milk, ink, blood, soap solution, toothpaste, jellies, gums. We can also have a synthetic detergent solution and many more. So after learning about the concept of colloids, let's take and understand the characteristics of colloids. It is a how they are different from solution and suspension let's see the characteristics of colloids first it says that a colloid appear to be homogeneous but is it, it is actually a heterogeneous mixture the size of particles of colloid is bigger than those in true solution but smaller than those in suspension the particles of most of the colloid cannot be seen under the microscope and the particles of colloid can pass through the filter paper 
in the process of filtration, the colloid solution are quite stable that the particle of the colloid do not separate out on keeping. At last, the colloid scatter a beam of light passing through them. Above of the characteristics which are most of the similar we have already discussed and understood in the suspension and solution. But what is the scattering of light which we are discussing in the colloids? Let's see the experiment and understand what is actually the scattering of light which is passing through the colloid solution. This is an experiment which we call as Tyndall effect where for example you can see here this image which is having two test tube. One is having a true solution, second is having a colloid solution. If you pass a laser beam or any beam, any source of light through them in the 90 degrees of angle, you can see in solution they don't scatter any kind of light and allow them, don't allow them passing through to make the, the light beam visible and if you see here in the colloid the beam of light scatter of the surface of suspended particles that is when a beam of light pa is passing through a colloidal solution you can take any kind of uh, colloidal solution like you can take a soap solution also kept in a beaker in a dark room or in this test tube then the path of light beam gets illuminated and become visible inside the colloidal solution. It shows up like a beam of sunlight in a dusky room. So the path of light inside the colloidal solution becomes visible because the solute particles in the colloidal solution are big enough to scatter the light rays falling on them in all the direction. This scattering of solution of light enters our eyes due to which we are able to see the path of light beam inside the colloidal solution. So friends, this scattering of light by colloidal particles is called Tyndall effect. Let me write down the definition. That is scattering of light beam by colloidal solution is the Tyndall effect. So friends, you can also see and understand at your home, you can take two beakers, one you can take a, any, any example, any, any true solution, you can take a salt water or sweet water and you, in another beaker you can take any kind of colloidal solution and you can pass a torch light at the 90 degrees and you can see the difference between these two solutions so that you can understand the difference between them. You can do this activity at your home also. So now friends, what is Tyndall effect? It is nothing but the scattering of light by colloidal particles. It is basically an optical property of colloidal solution and it is used to distinguish between a colloidal solution and a true solution. How? As far now we have understood what is Tyndall effect, we should also know that now the solution which scatter a beam of light passing through it and renders its path visible will be a colloidal solution. And if we talk about the solution that is a true solution, 
which does not scatter a beam of light passing through it and does not render any kind of path visible to us will be a true solution so now friends i hope you have understood the session these three subsections now let us understand these three differentiation between the kinds of mixture we have have you ever thought why why starch solution scatter light why solution is a homogeneous and why suspension is a heterogeneous mixture it is there is a one and only one point which distinguish between these three kinds of mixture that is the size of the solute particles that the difference between in the properties of true solution colloids and suspension is just due to the difference between the size of the solute particles as the solute particles in true solution is very small the solute particles in colloid are slightly bigger whereas the solute particles in suspension are quite bigger it is due to the small size of the solute particles that is true solution and a colloid easily pass through the pores of the filter paper whereas it is because of the big size of the solute particles of a suspension that they cannot pass through the pores of filter paper and are retained on the filter paper in the form of residue only the solvent of the suspension passes through the filter paper so if we talk about the size of the solute particles solution in solution the size of the solute particles is about 10 to the power minus 8 cm in diameter and if you talk about the colloids there is the range that is it it is it is between the 10 to the power minus 7 to 10 to the power minus 5 cm in diameter and suspension it is actually above 10 to the power minus 5 cm in diameter so friends i hope you have understood the whole session the whole three or four sessions about the types of mixture now it's your time to do an activity where you have to make one mixture of each kind of mixture that is you have to make one mi- mixture of each colloid suspension and solution and note down the difference in your notebook so in next session we'll be taking the topic of introduction to mixture and the separation thank you